Will you have changed your habits before the month of Ramadan starts? Will he have bought a new house before the lockdown is over? Well, today we are going to learn about future prophet. As you know that we have already learned present prophet, past prophet and now today we are going to learn future perfect tense okay the future perfect tense tells about a completed action in the future look at the example she will have got her destination by this time next week by next month next week in two month in three month that would be signal words and phrases to remember future perfect tense as you know you have learned in present perfect and past perfect that whenever there is a word perfect we are going to use past participle in other words in simple words we are going to use third form of the verb v3 completed spoken gone okay so how to make positive negative and interactive i will show you okay future perfect is a verb tense which is used to show that an action will be taken in future showing the completion look at the example when lockdown is over i will have written a new book okay so look at the signal word next by the year in two months here remember most of the non native speakers make a mistake whenever they use when and before in future perfect tense okay remember whenever you are going to use when or before you have to translate this clause in present simple tense okay the next one should be in future perfect tense well so how to make positive negative and interactive you are going to use subject will shall have you may use only will have v3 and then object for negative you are going to simply add not after will shall you are not going to use has even your subject is he she its signal name because in future we just have have no has no had because after will shall would there must be v1 okay and have is v1 had had is v2 and v3 so whatever the subject you are going to use will have or shall have you may use only will have for negative we are going to put not for interactive we are going to replace will shall in the beginning of the sentence and then subject have and v3 i have shown the example over there okay you are going to put subject will have and then main verb as v3 past participle okay if your subject is he she its single name they you you are going to put will have and if you have i we you would use shall have but in the latest grammar you can use will have for every kind of subject right okay i have shown the positive negative and interactive sentences over there look at the example of positive sentences i will have played football before the sun sets again whenever we use before or when we have to translate into present simple i have put s here with sets showing present simple third person subject 
Look at the second example. You will have written a new book by next year. He will have changed his habits in two months. Okay, for negative. I shall not. Okay, I shall not. You may use I will not have eaten breakfast until you come. She will not have played tennis before I call her. For interactive, you are going to put will shall, subject, have and V3. Will I have missed the bus? Will you have visited London by next year? If you want to make WH words, you are going to put why, where, when, what in the beginning. Why will you have left the city before informing me? Okay, so this is all about future perfect tense. For more videos, please do subscribe my channel and press the button icon. Thank you very much. See you soon.